Hello, <clears throat> good afternoon. Uh, we're still waiting for our Canadian colleagues, but we're going to kick off anyway because uh, the session has been recorded. So anyone who is late can catch up <laughs> with the recording. Uh, okay, so uh, as usual, we're going to uh, look at the oops, look at the economic calendar and see if there are any actually now that we've got our other colleagues here who wants to present anyone wants to present and tell us uh and tell us what's going on today any, any takers before i go but the rest of the day okay so we're going to start with the economic calendar as usual let's bring that up uh the main markets we're looking at is the euro us dollar and the um dollar Canadian dollar. So those are the two markets we're looking at. But like I say, if you're new to trading, please just stick to one market, just trade one market, preferably the Euro US dollar, because that's the most widely traded currency pair. So if you're new to trading, please just stick to one market and focus on just learning the three M's, analyzing the charts. And once you're comfortable with analyzing the charts and applying the three M's, then you can start looking at trading two or more markets with good money management. So I must keep reminding you that, that, you know, although we're going to be looking at two markets, it doesn't mean you should trade those two markets. If you're new to trading, just stick to one and focus on developing and learning the three M's. So we're looking at the Euro US dollar and the dollar Canadian dollar. So we'll be looking for reports of high importance and noting reports of medium importance that could affect the Euro or the US dollar or the Canadian dollar uh, today. So today is the Wednesday, the 14th of April. Again, make sure you're using the correct time zone. I'm currently in Rwanda, so my time zone is GMT plus two. So the times I'll be quoting will be GMT plus two times. So you use your own time zone. So let's have a look at what's coming out today. So this is all come and gone. You can see it came out, came out Australia, Westpac Consumer Confidence Index came out at 2.30 uh, GMT plus two. The New Zealand interest rate decision came out at 4 a.m. this morning, GMT plus two. But again, that doesn't concern us. That's if you're trading currencies paired with the Aussie dollar or the New Zealand dollar. But we are focused on the Euro US dollar and the dollar Canadian dollar. You can just ignore reports of low importance. You can completely ignore that. Uh, this is a report here at nine o'clock, uh, again, Rwandan time from the Euro area. So that would have an impact on the Euro, hence the Euro US dollar, but it's a report of medium importance. So you get, you just note <clears throat> the reports of the medium importance, just note them, see if there's something to be concerned about or not. And of course, you know, if you're new to trading, it's always good to just click on if they if they if, if next to the speech, you can see a drop down menu, it means that you can read information about what the speech is about. So if you're new to trading, it's good to read what they're about and begin to understand uh, this, what this uh, reports mean. But this is just a speech It's not an economic report, it's a speech. And it's a uh, uh, good uh, Guindos, <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing his, his name right, is an European Central Bank uh, official. So he's going to be talking, and because he's a, a representative of the European Central Bank, that's why it's been noted as medium. But because they understand the impact of their words, when they speak, they are very cautious with their words and they are very uh, conservative with what they say. But it's just there, just to know that he's speaking. It's a speech, it's not a report. And they rarely say anything to rattle the market. So you can more or less ignore that report of medium importance. But it's good to know what it's about. That's what I was explaining. Uh, so we you note what they're about, but you, you, like I've just explained it, but we can ignore it. You just ignore the reports of low importance. We could ignore Sweden. We can ignore France. That's another report of medium importance, again, from the Euro area, 
which could impact the euro us dollar it's industrial production uh, again like i say if you're new to trading it's good to read about this report but again this doesn't really impact the markets industrial production uh, we can ignore reports of low importance we can ignore reports from south africa <laughs> And then there's a report here from the United States at one o'clock, GMT plus two. Again, it's a report of medium importance is the MBA mortgage applications. So anything to do with the housing market could potentially affect the markets. So mortgage applications obviously has some, you know, it's related to the housing market. So that could potentially affect the market. It's not high, so you don't, it won't stop us trading it would be a good idea to check your trades around one o'clock GMT plus two when this report of medium importance comes out from the United States because it's something to do with the housing market, mortgage, mortgage applications. So I say it won't stop us trading, but you want to note that and check your trades around that time at 1 p.m. GMT plus two. We can ignore this reports of low importance. We can ignore that from Brazil ignore low importance and at four o'clock we have another speech again that's the ecb president christine lagarde uh, she's speaking again this is a speech not a report and again she too she is aware of the impact of her words and her statement so again like i said they're very conservative very guarded when they speak in public so again it's really anything will happen because they're always very vague and careful with their words Obviously, it's noted there that she'll be speaking. It's not an announcement. It's not an announcement of a report. It's just a speech. So again, uh, we don't need to worry about that. Same thing at 4.30 from the UK, the Bank of England, Haskell to is speaking. And again, same thing to, uh, you know, it's just a speech. It's not uh, announcing policies or announcing interest rates. Okay, so... Uh, and again, that's another one coming out at the same time at 4 30 from the, from the US. Uh, EIA crushing crude oil stocks change. Of course, that will have more of an impact on if you're trading oil and commodities, not currencies. So you don't have to worry too much about that, too. <clears throat> again, we ignore all this low importance. And then again, this is just speeches. So again, same thing, too. We don't have to worry about speeches. So for today, there's no reports of high importance that could impact the Euro US dollar or the dollar Canadian dollar. So there are no reports of high importance. So we can start trading straight away, which is what I did early hours of the morning, uh, my time. Uh, the only one I need to note today and check my trade is at one o'clock uh, when we have the US mortgage applications. So just to check my trades around that. But other than that, I can kick off and start trading first thing in the morning, which is what I did at 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, there are no public holidays in the UK or the USA. So again, that's nothing to stop us trading. So no public holidays and nothing untoward going on in the global financial markets that could create uncertainty uh, in the markets. Okay, so really I'm, I'm fine to go ahead and trade. Okay, so this morning, uh, when uh, I'll also go through that, you start with swing trading. So again, this morning with swing trading, you go to the daily time frame day one. So we can see yesterday the market broke the moving average 50, took my pending buy order for the 100 pip stop loss. So I'm currently now in a swing trade with the Euro US dollar. Uh, and usually I wait for the market to move at least 100 pips in my direction. Once it moves 100 pips in my direction, I start moving my stop loss with the moving average. But till then, I'll just leave my stop loss at 100 pips. And again, you know, on the platform, you can follow my swing trades on the platform. I post the swing trades every day. So you can then see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis with my swing trading, which you can follow on the platform. So that's swing trading. So that's nothing for me to do. The market has taken my order yesterday. I'm in a live swing trade. I'm just waiting for the market to move 100 pips in my direction before I start moving my stop loss with the moving average. So for the day trade, I go to the five minute time frame. So looking at the five minute time frame, 
you can see the market was initially trending up and you can now see it's trending sideways around this point. Uh, so you can see I already have my pending buy order just above R1 and my pending sell order just below the pivot point. And of course the market hasn't broken R1 or the pivot point yet. So again, no change in my plans from this morning. My pending orders are still there. So let's go to USD card. So again, we we'll start with the um, we'll start with daily time frame D1. So again, looking at the daily time frame today, the moving average 100 is 2.266, 2, 2, 1 is the moving average today, and I've got my pending order just above that at 1.22. 1.2668, two pips above the moving average 100. So I've adjusted that already. So I just have my pending order there. I'll just keep adjusting every day till the market takes it like it's done with the Euro US dollar. So I've adjusted that already. So again, nothing to do till tomorrow. So we'll go down to the five minute time frame For day trading. So again, we can see with the Euro <coughs> US dollar, I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm mixing up my currencies. With the USD card, you can see the market trending sideways between the pivot point and S1. So again, you can see my pending buy order just above the pivot point and my pending sell order just below S1. And again, the market hasn't broken the pivot or S1 yet. So my orders are still in place and no change in plan. Okay, so that's it. Any questions? Uh, if you have any questions, you can either raise your hands or send your question through the question box. Any questions, comments, before we all get on with our day? Okay, good. So if there are no questions, uh, as usual, the recording will be posted on the platform. And of course, you can still ask questions on the platform and we'll catch up on the platform. So have a good day, everyone.